Hey guys, Dr. Jones again. Uh, one project that we're working on that's in development stage, it's pretty interesting, is actually there are different technologies of RFID. There's passive technologies and there's active technologies. The main difference is active technologies have batteries and they go, usually go a lot further and have a lot stronger signal when they're sending information back to a reader. One of the ideas that we, that's not necessarily so new, but things that we're trying to further validate is an active tag um, that can actually read a passive tag. And we're specifically trying to do it for the EPC Global Standard. But it's called, we, we call it here a SAT tag. And um, so I think that the discussion about that tag is very interesting and I think you, you'll find it enjoyable. Thanks. Students in the RFID lab at the University of Nebraska test active and passive tags. These are passive tags, meaning that uh, there is no battery. Um, there are larger tags that they are pretty good size, they're round, and uh, they have a batter onboard battery, so it's, it's pretty much like a GPS where it's, you constantly know where it's at. Whereas these, there's no battery, and when you uh, initiate the gun, you send a radio frequency out, and the, t the tag absorbs that energy. The antenna picks up the radio waves, and it gives it enough power to send a signal back to the reader, and allows you to identify that particular tag. Students conduct experiments to show how different RFID tags perform. The experiment is to compare this tag's readability and uh, their rating performance uh, based on two factors. One factor is uh, the tag's consistency performance, and another is tag's orientation and uh, uh, that direction. Uh, direction. Unlike barcodes, RFID tags don't need line of sight to operate, so lots of items can be tracked very quickly. So as a pallet passes through the antenna system or the portal, um, actually there's a signal sent out from the antennas toward the pallet, and um, each tag on each case little item, I guess, um, actually has uh, the ability to bounce that signal back and kind of transform it uh, so it actually conveys all the information that's hold, held on it like uh, what's in this case of stuff, um, where it's coming from, stuff like that. Um, and then it bounces back to the antenna and then from there it's actually sent on to a, uh, like a computer database uh, where they can control their inventory and st see all the different statistics and stuff like that. Student research into active and passive tags provides important direction in the development of RFID technology.